Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your He Said, She Said reading for the week of July 30th, 2018. Hello Sagittarius. We have Richard joining us this week. Don't forget we have our special for $35 for a 20 minute reading with both Richard and I and that's for your own personal He Said, She Said reading so if you'd like one please email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com Also don't forget to check out my channel Gypsy Insights by Michelle. I've just put up my new mid-August readings so please check me out. Those are for Sun, Moon, Rising and also your Venus sign as well. Now let's get along with your reading here Sagittarius. From Le Vampire you've pulled the card of Ancient which speaks about ancestry, magical inheritance, yeah, so this card speaks to family connections that lead you to greater knowledge of the self and how to work with family members you know. And from the Energy Oracle, you've pulled the card of All Tied Up. This is in reverse. It's about releasing stuck energy, old habits and restrictions. It's a card of your life opening up and uh, being free to choose your own reality. Now, I've already meditated on the energy for you Sagittarius so let's cut some cards here and the first card will signify your partner or the person that you are thinking about their energy what they're bringing to the table when it comes to you their flaw how they feel about you how you feel about them strengths between you both weaknesses between you both Potential for a healthy relationship caused by any roadblock and the potential outcome. So let's have a look at the energy of your partner or the person that you are thinking about here, Sagittarius. We have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So it's, it's a feeling of confusion here. Yes, and possibly, I know, I get harsh, harsh words perhaps. Harsh words when it comes to making a decision or getting clarity about something. Right. Let's get a, uh, well let's have a look and, and see what uh, they bring to the table when it comes to you Sagittarius. And with the Ten of Wands in reverse, there's a feeling of releasing a burden. It may be something that they have carried around with them for quite some time and there's a feeling of with this card of releasing a heavy load yeah but it could also be um they, they you could see in them releasing a heavy burden from you yes absolutely let's see what the floor is and with the eight of swords in reverse there, there needs to be again i pick it up as release there needs to be release here of some restriction. Right. That there's still confusion about it is what I'm picking up. There's still a lack of clarity around something that needs to be released. Uh, it could be something mental. Uh, I picked this up as possibly some negative thoughts. It is a card of self-imposed limitation, so it's something that they need to release and, and they, they are able to release it, but there's a, a sense here of keeping themselves tied to something. But the good news here is what I'm picking up is that there is a release of this burden. Oh well, it's poss possibly theirs or possibly yours, but uh, we'll have to see what the rest of the reading says. Let's see how they view you, Sagittarius. Now with the Page of Pentacles, it's a clean slate. It's the, the new start potential. It's a page, so that's why I say that it, it's something starting from the ground up. It's laying that solid foundation for potential prosperity and growth. Yeah, presently though there's confusion on, on their part. When it comes to this release is yeah, what true. I'm picking up. Mm -hmm. How you're viewing them Sagittarius is the lover's card so you see them as your, your partner. Or you see a possibility of a decision needing to be made about this person. It could also be that as well. Something, an important life decision around 
keeping the a harmonious balance in your life when it comes to a love relationship? A decision may have to do with um, this person releasing the burden of whatever is holding them back and also gaining that clarity that they, they seem to crave presently. Let's have a look at the strength between you both. And with the death card as a strength, there is a potential here for change, for a major transformation. Right. I think the major transformation is again going to be around the releasing of this burden. It's rebirth. I see this with the Page of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. It's being able to start again after releasing, I, I picked this up as, as negative perhaps a negative thoughts or negative patterns of behavior now i look at i take it a little bit deeper than that mm -hmm. I, I i think it's it's got to do with a past relationship okay let's have a look and see what the weaknesses are between you and with the high priestess in reverse it's uh, it's trust it, it's uh, keeping secrets it's not knowing the the whole truth when it comes to what what may be keeping this uh person confused that's how I'm viewing that no it could yeah it could be a secret but it's but I think it's more something hidden about the person and it, it could be the burden is hidden as well the nature of the burden it mm. could be that you know one partner knows that the other partner's burden but they don't know what they're burdened with true and it could also be some some trust issues around this situation as well a feeling of not fully being able to trust because of something that this person needs to unburden themselves from. Maybe another person, you're right Richard, it could be another uh, a, a former relationship. Let's have a look at the potential. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse crossed by the roadblock which is the Page of Swords. So here what I pick up is that there needs to be a truth. Well, a half truth, probably. Uh, the the present potential is uh, is that it seems, seems like love's running out. If I feel that the, there is an opportunity to turn this around, if there is better communication. When it comes to, I pick it up as trust, as someone needing to tell their truth, perhaps about what a need, needing to unburden themselves from confusion. Yeah, it could just be as simple as unburdening themselves um, by telling the truth. It may be as simple as that, but I feel that that's the, the only block to the Ace of Cups being in the, in the upright, in the upright is, is, is communication. Mm. And let's have a look at the outcome. Well, we have justice in reverse, which, which signifies that there is an imbalance. Uh, it, this could be a legal arrangement. It may be a marriage or something that is like a marriage, a long-term commitment, but there's some unfairness around this a sense of needing to and, and this may be it Richard it, it might be that this partner needs to fully unburden something yeah I, I think some baggage from a previous relationship is the sense I'm getting that's what I pick up as well Let, let's get a clarifier on the justice card in reverse what is this justice card in reverse as the outcome for Sagittarius, please? Yeah, we have the Seven of Wands. So it, I feel that there may be someone here who has their guard up. Perhaps competition. It, it, it seems to suggest that there needs to be a writing of a, a wrong is what I'm picking it up and, and someone may have been guarded ar around perhaps hearing the truth here or, or finding out 
about what this person, what your partner Sagittarius has needed to unburden them, themselves from. Yeah, I, I get the, I get the sense they just haven't let go of their ex. That's what it is because when you look at this, we have two cards all tied up to me speaks about the eight of swords it's it's a very similar energy of someone need needing to unburden themselves from their past and this of course speaks with ancestry can also speak about the past right mm -hmm. so it's also that something that is keeping them from fully or manifesting what Ma they need right what they need to do in this relationship because i do get this seven of wands as having a guard up right there can be transformation right there is potential here for this new beginning uh you sagittarius uh that i feel that that you are um uh, you see this person as a potential partner and something has to happen something it? needs to happen yeah. here yeah. when it comes to th there needs to be change and and writing a uh, a wrong writing a writing a wrong, a, writing a wrong. Yeah. let's get one more card on the outcome for with that seven of wands I, I get a sense of resistance resistance okay and resistance to unburdening what needs to be okay so yeah that that does make sense it they, there could be someone here who who knows they they have the capacity to to make this change and yet something is preventing them from from unburdening themselves yeah but the potential is there that, that's what's really encouraging yeah yeah let's get one more card on the outcome here for sagittarius what is the outcome here for sagittarius if this justice card in reverse what is the outcome for Sagittarius, please? What is the outcome for Sagittarius? Well, we have the Three of Swords. So it seems to be in relation to past heartbreak, an ending of some kind. It could have been, I picked this up as uh, imbalance, unfair treatment around a, uh, a third party situation oh, I, I, no, I, I wouldn't say well not maybe not such a third party but I'd say a past relationship a past relationship yeah they just haven't they just haven't let go well it, it, it's kind of like a third party situation because if someone hasn't let go yeah, of their their past partner hmm. it, it does bring it into the the current relationship right. and it seems to be like someone is resisting overcoming past heartbreak right holding on yeah the transformation is possible and a new beginning can happen so we'll leave it there for you sagittarius and wish you all the very best with this don't forget we have that 35 dollars special for a 20 minute reading with both richard and i it's uh, for one question only so if you'd like one of those please email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com also please check out my in-depth readings on gypsy insights by michelle I have my new mid-August readings up. Please check out my the sun, moon and rising signs to see which one resonates the most with you. And please like, share and subscribe. Goodbye and good luck, Sagittarius.